Hello, world. How we doing today? Ah, oh, man, it's it's some chilly, nippy, nippy, chilly shit out here. It really is. Look, I'm sporting my flip side t-shirt. I've got my beanie on. The sun is shining, but that wind is blowing some nasty cold shit, and I shouldn't even be out here in it. But I just got on farce book. You know what? This one's long overdue. It's absolutely long overdue. I think about a year and a half ago, I said I was going to talk about farce book. You know, y'all call it Facebook. And, uh, oh, man, it's that's the biggest crock of shit in the world. And, and it's being advertised on every news station and television show. It's, uh, it's nothing but an information gathering source. You know, let's just gather all the information we can off of people. You know, no such thing as anonymity. You know, you want to change your name? Tough shit. You know, you're gonna to have to start a new account. And of course, they, 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 they get, they gather up. Oh, that wind's blowing. Shit. Let me get off over here and get out of that wind. They gather up all your information. They, uh, they don't want you to be a unique and individual. They want to make rules and guidelines, which is great, you know. It, rules are great. Guidelines are great. But, you know, they, they they try to control and manipulate. And then they take all that information and they, they just feed it to the NSA or to whoever else, you know, wants it. It's free reign here, you know. Hell, you sit there and you've got your, you know, you post your personal thoughts on what you think is your personal page. Next thing you know, you get fired from your job or you get a, you know, you don't get a job because of this thought or that thought or, or whatever. The biggest crock of shit. And that's why I call our Facebook farce book. You know, it's nothing more than a glorified hookup site anyway. Hell, my little missus that I've got here in this house, I met her on farce book. Apparently she believed the bullshit. <laughs> I wasn't bullshitting her. But still, you know, it's 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 nothing more than an overglorified hookup site, just like MySpace was. Shit, I I don't even want to tell you how many girls I dated off of MySpace, and, and you know, in between wives, et cetera, et cetera, I was a dog. I was a dirty dog. You know, I I wanted to have fun. You know, I wanted to. I always was trying to seek that right one. You know, thought I found it the first time I got married. You know, thought I found it the second time I got married, <laughs> you know, and uh, hopefully found it this final time with the with the woman I'm with today. But, you know, time will only tell. But, uh, yeah, that's my little rant and rave about farce book. It's a uh, I, I used it. To, uh, um, I told you all about the about the uh, social experiment I did on the secret page, but I would use use it to try to, uh, you know, at first, just like everybody else, I used it to get hookups, you know, to flirt with the girls. And uh, I was highly successful at it, you know. But, you know, there towards the end, uh, I don't know, when I used to get on it regularly, I, I used it to educate the masses. And, of course, you know, you know especially when I had my awakening, so to speak, when uh when the flood of of, uh, of memories that I had suppressed over the years of all the abuse and traumas that I had endured uh, surfaced, you know, I used it to educate the masses. I used it to talk the truth. And, uh, you know, the truth is I see it. I've spent my entire life trying to understand myself, my relationship to the world around me, the world's relationship to me and the other people that inhabit it. And, uh, you know, I don't know everything. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. But if I hadn't made the choices and the mistakes and the, the triumphs that I have in my life, I wouldn't be the man I am today. So I do not live in regret. And I hope that none of you live in regret as well. You can't regret your choices. You can't regret the, the things that have happened to you, the abuses or anything like that. You can't regret anything because the moment you regret it is the moment you don't truly love yourself and you need to love yourself. You need to care about yourself. 
You need to work towards loving and caring about yourself. I got to put my hand up. This is a little old, uh, less than a pound phone or whatever it is. Sure does put an awful strain on my arm. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's my little rant and rave about farce book. <sighs> I'm on it right now. As a matter of fact, I've got an uncle up in Seattle who is a who I love, truly love. I was an inspiration in my life, and uh, he 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 traveled to Seattle, and he uh, he he's made a very good life for himself, and uh, I do truly appreciate the moments that he was in my life. Uh, he was a great inspiration. You know, I've got a couple of uncles, him and another couple of uncles that were great inspirations in my life. I, I consider them father figures. And, uh, oh, that's it. I mean, y'all can tell. I hope you can tell. I'm, oh, man, I'm sick as a dog. I'm sitting out here in this cold-ass weather talking to you because you are what is truly important in this world. Absolutely, positively. I truly do love each and every one of you. Truly and deeply, I do. Carpe diem. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Ha <laughs> ha!